Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing a palette resurrection. I know it's been quite a while since my last one. And for this palette resurrection, we are going with the Urban Decay Elements palette. Now, this was a holiday palette, which I believe was from 2018 holiday. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong here. Um, but this was a holiday palette that as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this palette. <laughs> it's just basically not, I don't want to say a standard rainbow palette, but it was a little bit different. It was a grungy rainbow palette. And so I was like, mm, I needed it. <laughs> and so I got this at Ulta during that holiday time. Um, I looked it up online. I think you can buy this on eBay still. Um, I see it like under, uh, it looks like a Nordstrom rack. I see it there. Um, but on, on the official Urban Decay website, it's no longer available because it was actually limited edition. Unless, unlike the other limited edition items out there. <laughs> Despite the fact that I really wanted this palette so badly, I have been really bad about reaching for it. Especially because this is also kind of a pain in the butt to store. So I do have a bookshelf where I store all my eyeshadow palettes. This is a circle. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay on a bookshelf quite nicely. So I actually have to like prop it up in between a couple of other palettes. But despite the fact that it has a nice big mirror and it has a bunch of neutrals and nice colorful shades, I just wasn't reaching for this as much. So I thought, you know, why not bring this out? I'm going to do three looks with this palette, swatches, and then talk about my experience with it. Let's go ahead and jump first into the swatches and then the three looks.
So those are all the swatches and the looks I created with this palette. I have to say I like how versatile the palette is and I was shocked at how vibrant and pigmented these blue shades were, which is the last look. That was look number three of just these two blues right here. I struggled a bit with like these neutral shadows and with the greens. I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of the greens. They were not as pigmented. I had to work with them, really build them up. They probably would have worked with a little bit more help from either a different eye primer or with a glitter glue. But yeah, this is actually like a really nice palette. And as I was digging into it, as I was using it more, I was reminded of why I liked it so much. And actually, I know I just did a full face palette challenge, but I think this would actually be a really good idea to do a full face with. Overall, I don't think the ch the discrepancy in the shadows is due to age, though it could it could totally well be because of that. This was limited edition, so I don't really know if it's this exact same formula as the rest of Urban Decay's, you know, eyeshadow palettes. I only have the, I think, the Naked 2 and 3. I believe those are the only other two Urban Decay shadow palettes I actually own. So I really don't have a whole lot to, like, compare it to, but... Overall, I would say that this palette has more hits than misses, and it got me to really kind of think out of the box. I don't regret buying it, despite the fact that I wasn't using it as often. But I, I am glad that I have it, and I, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, because if the greens aren't working, you know, the neutrals aren't working as well because of age, since it's already two years old by this point, I'll have to keep an eye on it and see if anything happens. I'll probably just start sanitizing it a little bit more often, um, but yeah, I'm actually really happy. <laughs> That I still have this palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know people are like really on the fence about doing these kind of videos with like older limited edition palettes that are no longer available but I know quite a lot of people still had this palette and personally looking at my collection I tried to go through and dig out old palettes and see well what could I play with more? What could I go back and reach for? So if you have this palette let me know down below what's your favorite look that you do with it and if you reach for it at all or if it kind of sits in the back of your drawer like it did for mine. Also let me know if you want to see a full face challenge with this because I think that would be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!